So these are three, yes, there are three tubs of hydrangeas that I propagated about three weeks ago, or no, um, chopped up and put in these. And you can't terribly see, you can see there's a bit of green. Um, but even if I shake the drops off, you can't see how many have um, taken. So this is, we'll see how successful my propagation technique is. This is no rooting powder. This is purely soaked soil, chopped off small shoots of hydrangeas, took off the lower leaves and put them in against the edges. So we're gonna see how many of these took. Um, let's see. Now, I don't expect them all to take. Oh, wow. Ah, okay. Oh, some are even starting to flower. Oh, look at that. Ah, I think they just about all took. Oh my goodness, that's a very successful uptake. So they're at three weeks old. There's a little bit of rot there. Oh, that one didn't make it, but that's okay. So those all have made it. I'm going to nip this flower out because I don't want it to use that energy to flower. I want that to use that energy to keep producing roots. I'll have to leave these in these pots, uh, containers, for another couple of weeks before I pot them out. But this way, let's see what this one's done. Okay, that looks pretty good. Only two didn't seem to take it. No, that one didn't take it all. And that one didn't take it all. Well, that's two out of that box that didn't make it. Now, this one might not make it. It's going a bit yellow. Um, some of these other ones might not make it if the leaves come off. Yeah, okay. Now, the final box. It's like a Christmas present to see. Oh, dear. This one isn't so good. See, some of these are rotting. Oh dear. Oh no, some of them are taking. That looks good. That looks good. That could be good. But that one is gone blue moldy. That one's gone blue moldy. That one didn't take it all. Okay, this is the not such a good one. Okay. So there's a lot less of that one. And this has some other things rooting in it that I don't want weeds. Okay. Oh dear, that one's so not so successful. But that's not too bad. That's a lot of plants there. So hopefully, now that they're open, they can breathe a little bit better and hopefully they will root on They've been in a very um, sheltered, no direct sunlight location. Their soil is still moist. Oh, here's another one that's about to flower, so I'll take that one out. And there's another one. Pinch that out. There we go. Oh, and another one. Pinch that one out because I don't want them to flower. I want them to keep doing roots. So hopefully those will keep growing. I'll leave them here in a sheltered warm spot and hopefully they will keep developing and in another couple of weeks I can pot them out individually. This one is a lovely one. It's got these lovely colored leaves and has pink flowers. I love the kind of contrast in the colors. So you're inspecting my work, are you Inca?
Yeah. And this one is a lovely one with white cone-shaped flowers. So fingers crossed that uh, I don't lose any more, but that's three weeks. They've been in these containers for three weeks. So not bad for, hopefully, uh, I won't lose too many more. Are some hydrangeas that I propagated earlier. Well, those aren't hydrangeas. Those are um, butterfly bushes. That's a hydrangea. And these, and they're all potted on, doing really well. So those were all done earlier this year, about eight weeks ago, I think. So they're doing really well. Some of them are slightly not feeling great, but hopefully they'll keep going. But these were all done, propagated the way I did earlier, the ones you just saw that I just opened. So hopefully I'll have as good a result. These are all bulbs that I found and some um, columbine seeds that I've sown to plant out for next year. I don't know what this bulb is, it's a mystery. So we'll find out with time. But this is my propagation seed bulb corner with bear at the back door. And then these are a few of the trees that, whose seeds I planted. Walnut, beech, cherry, walnut, beech, walnut, beech, elderflower, and this is an apple tree who's not feeling very well. Uh, so um, those are, and then these are seeds. I don't know what they are but this is in a sheltered location. So that's, uh, yeah, been busy. So this is the propagation corner. Oh, and I was doing weeding out some of this that I'll plant in another location. I've got loads of that ladies mantle all over the place. But I'm very pleased with this propagation result here. I actually should probably pop these out now. These are butterfly bushes that I want to plant in another location. It's a beautiful, deep, deep purple one. So I might do that now. Take these out and put them into pots. So next step of propagation is after they've rooted in their little pots. I This is all recycled stuff from the local uh, garden center, including the tray that holds all these pots. And here I'm going to soak them in water that Maya's helping to drink. And then I fill them in from the top. This way when I'm taking them out of the, their propagating accommodation, the soil they're going into is lovely and wet and yummy and delicious with loads of food for them to keep growing roots and then I can plant them out next year. So that's the next stage after they've rooted in their pot. Now, this is where the tray was soaking in the water. All the dogs love drinking out of it. It's always got lots of soil bits in it. They also drink out of this container as well. But I've lifted out all these so that they drain down. And here are the uh, butterfly bushes, the baby ones. And I'm gonna wiggle them out with the, this screwdriver. The dogs have chewed it, they found it. I think they nicked it from a builder or somebody who came here. And then I will make a hole. You can see, make a hole in here to drop the um, butter, baby butterfly bush into so that um, it can start growing on in its own big plot pot. So here's the first baby butterfly bush that I've pulled out of this pot. You can see there's lovely roots. So I take it by a leaf and wiggle it down in there and pinch. There, that's one. And I'll do the rest of these until all these containers are full. And there we are. 
eight new butterfly bushes. Hopefully they will last through the winter. Potentially I might lose one or two, but that's potentially eight more butterfly bushes than what I already had. And all four, these are all recycled pots that I picked up at the local garden center. So that's one way to increase one's pollinating plant collection.